Welcome to this edition of Train for Aptitude. Today we look at the 8th concept in the problems on time and distance. The problem. Suraj covers a certain distance at a particular speed. If he moves 3 km per hour faster, he would take 40 minutes less to cover the distance. If he had moved 2 km slower, he would have taken 40 minutes more. What is the distance he travels? Our options are a. 35 km, b. 36 2 by 3 km, c. 37 1 by 2 km, and d. 40 km. We could visualize the problem as shown. We assume here that Suraj is moving on a cycle and the distance between point A and B is d km. He travels at his initial speed of s km per hour and takes t hours to complete the journey. In the second case, he is moving faster and his speed in this scenario will be s plus 3 km per hour and the time taken will be lesser that is t minus 2 by 3 hours. In the third case, he covers the same distance d at a slower pace that is s minus 2 km per hour and the time taken increases to t plus 2 by 3 hours. Having visualized the scenario, we shall next move to solving the problem. We fill the matrix with the information that is given to us, the speed, distance and time in the three cases. We are expected to find the distance d. To begin solving, the first step is to frame equations for the time taken as the distance by speed. Therefore, in case 1, it is t is equal to d by s. In case 2, it is t minus 2 by 3 is equal to d by s plus 3. In case 3, it is t plus 2 by 3 is equal to d divided by s minus 2. Note here we have three equations and three variables. It becomes difficult to solve. So we will try to eliminate t by substituting from equation in case 1 into equations of case 2 and 3. We rearrange it to form equations a and b. The next step is to eliminate d and keep to solve only for the variable s. On solving, we find s is equal to 10 km per hour. We know the speed. We have two equations. We could choose any of the two equations, a and b, and substitute the value of s to find the value of d. d therefore is 40 km. The first step in generalization is to begin with looking at the information that we have. Assuming that we are ahead by m kilometers or slower by n kilometers, we represent speed as s plus m and s, s minus n. The distance remains constant, that is d. The time taken would be more or less and we are representing the difference by u and v. Therefore, the times are t minus u and t plus v. The next step is to frame equations for the time taken as t is equal to distance d divided by s in the three scenarios t is equal to d by s, t minus u is equal to d by s plus m and t plus v is equal to d by s minus n. Next, we substitute for the variable t from case 1 into case 2 and case 3, simplify it and call it as equations a and b. At the end of step 2, we will be left with two variables d and s. We try to eliminate one of these by dividing equations a and b. In this case, we have eliminated the variable d. Then we solve for the variable s. Finally, we return back to either equation a or b, substitute the value of s and solve to find the value for d. Thanks for watching Train for Aptitude. Please encourage us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking our Facebook page. You could also catch us on our website trainforaptitude.in.